Alright, am I supposed to shoot this thing? Oh, where are you going? Oh, I'm losing my balls! My balls are rolling away! It's coming right for me! It's gonna smack me in the face. Oh, it missed. Uh, boink. Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. I've just been sitting here on this bubble planet where we left off, playing with my balls, having a good time, you know, keeping it real. That's how Bob does. Guys, I uh, hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Guys, speaking of subscribing, last video I said I was trying to get to 20,000. We did it. We did it yesterday. It was amazing. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support on the channel and the series. Uh, if you're new to No Man's Sky and you're looking for more content, I've got a great beginner's guide series you should check out as well. Uh, but we're going to do a lot of stuff today. We're going to advance the quest line with Apollo. We're going to start working on our base, uh, working towards getting an overseer and a construction terminal and, and doing a lot of other things in the game. So let's jump right into it. Do I not have any oxygen? Let's go do something about that. I've been thinking about doing some uh, some oxygen mining. And the music's loud today. It's kind of funky too. Um, hmm. I always forget about this, but you can check these things every day, and there'll be something in it. Ion battery. Uh, let's clean up real quick. Got my galactic trade terminal. Uh, give me that oxygen. Uh, what did I have? I had something. Oh, yeah, this thing. Is that it? Oh, I can... Well, let's... We can do a, um... Derelict Freighter, too, if we want to. Let's check our fleet. See how they're doing. What's up, guys? How'd it go? Nobody's red. Red's bad. That means you have to fix stuff. Aronium. Fusion Accelerant. Activated Emerald. Meh. Is it the fusion accelerant? Um, yeah, let's see. What is that? Four and a half million? That's better than a poke in the eye. I don't like a poke in the eye. All right, what you got? Money, more fusion accelerants. Must be what's the deal of the day, huh? Activated emerald. Hey, you made it back all by yourself. Good for you. Superconductors. Fusion accelerant. Activated indium. It's weird. I'm getting the same thing for everybody. Uh, where am I? I'm lost. This way this way let's sell fusion accelerant oh nice plus 10 nice 14 million I'll take it so this is why I grabbed my first ship instead of you know waiting and trying to find that perfect ship before I get one because these guys are out doing stuff making me money and uh, you know by the time we find what we're looking for and want to take a break and do that we'll have gotten a lot of cool stuff from this freighter in that right purple Dude, you got a bit of an overbite there, huh? Or an underbite. I don't know. But your teeth are sticking through your face. It's freaking me out. Alright, what do we got here? Balanced. Okay. So we'll give you a combat, an exploration, have an industrial, and a trade. Three stars. You know what? I'm going to send one more ship. No, I'm not. That's good enough. Sending out more ships costs more fuel, but it gets some more experience to level up faster. So you may not need to, but I usually do send them out. The only reason I didn't is because I'm hoping that's going to reset here in the next few hours. All right, so let's go back to our base. What's up, everybody? Where's our little jumpy guys? Where's Mr. Peepers? Mr. Peepers. There you are. Somebody else had a good name, No Man's Eye. Bye, Mr. Peepers. See, I can't offer him food. I mean, I get right up on him. It doesn't give me the choice. I'm not going to poke your eye, dude. I'm not. I promise. It looks like I'm rolling him. <laughs> All right. So let's get in the right tab. Go to the log. Hit the base computer. Oh, shit. I didn't construct an oxygen harvester. Damn it. So it didn't do anything. Um, okay. All right. Probably should go over here by the chlorine stuff, right? Don't you think? Oops, oops, oops. I did not mean to do that. It's an accidental right click. Uh, what do you need? Carbon. There you go. I mean, this thing is, it's nice, but it's, you know, slow. And you only get, I think, 100 or something, maybe? 250? Something like that. You don't get a ton. But I'm pretty sure I found a, um, 
I'm pretty sure no, no I, I, I didn't want to wave um, let's see was it a gas hawk spot ah good thing there was water there it's a C class oxygen all right so I, I've never done this you know I'm I'm embarrassed to say I've never built any kind of farm uh, because I'm usually exploring and running around and doing stuff so uh, let's do it. Let's 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 learn together. I'm sure you guys will have lots of tips in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Um, but I'm wondering if I can make a little chlorine farm here. Uh, let's see. How does this work? Uh, that button. Not portable. Am I not in range? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. All right. Somebody said if I put a battery down. All right. Hold on. Let me mark this area. Uh, bam. All right. Can I see that now? <laughs> okay, so I think if we go inside the build range and then try this. Oh, can I get it there? That's about right, isn't it? It's pretty close. Let's see, now can I put another one down? I don't know how this works. All right, so when I originally cut the video, I had in here uh, me doing this. I cut out a ton of the thinking about it and running around, but then when I uh, when I went back and watched the video, I realized that it was about two and a half minutes of silence as Bob thought really hard to himself, what the hell am I doing and how does this actually work? Uh, so I decided to come back in here and uh, fill space by just talking about random stuff like I'm doing right now so you won't leave please don't leave don't leave I'm almost done I'm almost done thinking it's hard for Bob to think sometimes because um, you know uh, I'm a Bob but what I'm doing here is I'm expanding the uh, the electric part because I realized I didn't have enough electricity coming in uh, I was trying to keep them down there and then I was just like ah screw it it's hard enough to find them uh, it took me a couple minutes to find this hole again that's what she said uh, so I just slapped one on top so I could find it easily which defeats the whole purpose of burying them in the first place but you know it is what it is I'm a Bob so I can come over here now and I can see I've got power I'm looking at this noticing that uh, I'm not getting much production but you know it's better than a poke in the eye you know how we don't like poking the eyes holy crap is two minutes still not up yet no I got another 30 seconds all right let's keep going all right, so now I am powering this. I'm using some piping. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bury that pipe uh, in between these two guys right here. And then I'm going to take this other pipe and I'm going to shove it just as far as I can over here. Uh, come to find out that uh, the pipes don't bend as good as you think and they don't connect uh, very well after you lay them anyway. So do what you want with those pipe jokes. And uh, I think I'm talking again now. Here we go. So I got overall storage is 4,000. Well, what does it look like if I take one of these away? 3,000. So it's 2,000 the first one and 1,000 each additional? Is that what we've got going on? Okay. Well, let's see what happens with that. We can play with that more later. We'll just, uh, I just wanted to kind of see how that works. So basically what I did is I got three or four oxygen... Uh, extractors over there. It's only a 40% C class. It's not pulling a ton out, like 200 or so an hour. Um, and then I've got these uh, supply depots, which will fill up. So this will hold 4,000 oxygen. And I think it said it's going to take it like four hours to fill up. Yeah, four and a half hours to fill up. So uh, yeah, anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Probably not this episode. I wonder how long this takes. Hold on, I gotta time this. I gotta see how long this takes. All right, so it takes about 14, 15 seconds to get five of them. Uh, so what's math? Let's math that one. Let's math that. Uh, so if I got five, I got 250 divided by five is 50 times 15 seconds. Let's call it as 750 seconds divided by 60 is about 12 minutes, 12, 13 minutes to get uh, that thing full. So, uh, not super great. Should I build a couple more of those? I'm only allowed to have one. Oh, wow. Oh, that sucks. 
So it's got to be a certain distance. Well, damn it. To, whoa, what's up, dude? To the space station. Apparently, I'm supposed to go here. Let's go here. Advance a little bit of the Artemis quest. What do you say? Give me that. I gotta get on the right mission, don't I? Uh, this one. Really? I thought... Mm. All right, all right. All right, we gotta calibrate our translator. Or our translator's already calibrated, and now we need potential assistance. I'm gonna give you a secret. This guy's not helpful. Potential assistance. Weird little mountain here. Some weird graphic stuff going on over there. Uh-huh. Not sure what's going on with that. Alright, you, sir. Not you. You. Scholar. Insignificance does not register with the convergence of interest, but not of worth. I'm worth something. Through the garble of Artemis's translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Corvax. I need to improve my reputation rank. Well, fine. All right, and this is where it tells us we need to do missions to uh, to increase rank. But ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, we're doing it already, kind of. So let's just get some. What is, which one is it? It's the. Give me those. What's up, dude? How's it going? Apparently, we've talked before. It says visited by your name. Uh. Oh, you're the you're the guy. You're the ass clown. All right, sit back down. I don't want to talk to you. This guy took your place. Hey, buddy. What's up? I dig the purple and and uh and gray, dark gray. So here's a gift. Thank you. One. I have to do this two more times. I love your blobby. Um, it's nice. So here you go. A present for you. Mm -hmm. And you, sir. And here, I've got a present for you. I am now ranked up. Translator calibration. Find the life form. I just gotta wait. Oh, it's this guy now, huh? It's switched. Weren't you wearing green? Or did it just switch? I don't know what's going on. Uh, as I approach the light form, the lights of its shell casing begin to brighten and constrict chattering noises issuing forth. They hold it out a scanner. It is unclear if Artemis' translator is working. Ask for information about the star system or scan the Corvax. Yeah, I'm gonna scan you because you, you guys scan me all the time. Oh, you didn't like that? Information exchange possible. We only require a small sample of your organic components and a full technology scan. Oh, I'll give you a sample of my organic components. You ready? Watch your eye. The life forms chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. I've I've had that stare many a times, Mr. Corvax. I'm a traveler. This data is invaluable to the Corvax Convergence. Thank you, Traveler. I will, of course, assist you. All right, well, here. Have a star chart. Some crazy dude doodled it on the back of a napkin and gave it to me. Location does not exist, Traveler. Nothing is more tragic than a corrupted piece of code. Uh, so if you ask if they made a mistake, they get all pissy. So you don't want to do that. So thank you. Good luck on your journey. Please feel welcome to return and deliver a blood sample at any time. Oh, you want blood next time? All right, that's cool. All right, so now we leave and tell Artemis that uh, nobody likes him. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. Mm okay. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Well, you see, what, what had happened was... The Corvax said you're not there. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from the charted space. From charted space. You found my ship. Um, how'd you get there, bro? As I speak, 
The line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made the chart. Blinked out and... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment, a sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. I swear I've heard screaming glass before. Uh, it is not good. Ask what is happening. Comfort Artemis remains silent. Um, what's going on, bro? They're coming for me. I can see them. Smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal. Traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind. But now, I don't even know if the voice was real. Was it your exosuit talking to you again? That happens. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I... I was so wrong. I, I can see their faces. I, There are seeds of glass within there. Give me some glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented into the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... 16. Gzzzt. Warn your face it. Please, not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. I got a new contact. Now I have two. All right, it wants us to go tell Nada and Apollo what's going on. So let's do that. Got a rock in that hole, buddy. Let me get that checked out. Those stones can be painful, I hear. I know I came in the, the right door this time. You're amazed, aren't you? Priest entity Nada. Portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis' location. I explain their strange message, Apollo, in the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process this information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable. Small. The holes are stable and small. Nada is worried, traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will it will not help us. I feel you. Artemis since he still does not remember Nada. Say they did not. This is a puzzle, a trap, or a tragedy. Apollo entity is unknown to Nada, more puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Corvax say deity, Nada knows better. Atlas false entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Oh, a little bit more Quicksilver. So we got 800 now. I want them back. I want the cool backpack. Uh, let's see, where's... Oh, there you are. I didn't see you. What's up, Helos? How's it going? Your face is looking uh, less wrinkly than normal. Have you been using some cream? Or is it just my graphics not loading in? Can you tell me about derelict freighters? Oh, sweet, another one. Does that mean I have two now? I do have two. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. It's looking so much younger. Skin some rocks. I know how you like the rocks. Alright, so for the next part of the quest, we got to locate a hollow terminus. Did it change? Really? Oh, nope, there it is. I hate how the quests just change on their own. Hey, look at those colors. Anomalous number station again. Give me my numbers. Please? I need to win the lotto. Uh-huh. Yep. Got it. Alright, we're coming in on a hollow terminus. Let's see if we can... get a hold of Apollo. These trees are cool. I forgot about this. Let's go. Ho 
Apollo Terminus activated. Tune to Apollo. Welcome to Showtime at the Apollo, everybody! What's up, dude? You like a transformer. How's it going? Your head's kind of dumb looking, though. I, I don't know why it reminds me of a grandfather clock. I don't, I don't know why, but it just, it just looks dumb. Uh, the transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Stare back at him. <laughs> Identify yourself or I end this call. Uh, I'm a friend of Artie. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, huh? Call yourself whatever you want, but you can't hide the truth. Friend is just a label. A pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Well, that's, yeah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation a waste of my valuable time. Artemis is in trouble, bro. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Sure. Here you go. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They tune. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of Sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. Bullshit. There's a lot of gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Uh, okay. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? All right, partner. If you're gonna work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. Bob's always polite. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly, sighing, saddened. Aww. Or perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. All right, so everybody who wants to know how to get the uh, base overseer, that's it. Just follow until you get to this point, and now we're going to go find them. Oh, I've got this quest still to uh, discover everything here, don't I? What happens if you do that? I've never, I haven't done it before. All right, so the overseer is a Gek, which since we're not in a Gek system, they're going to send us somewhere else to go find him. Galaxy map. Where are we supposed to go? Right there. Okay. Alright. Let's go locate Apollo's contact. Now, I've had people say they can't find the guy. Uh, if that's the case, you're, you're probably not on the mission. So just make, you know, see if I, I select the space anomaly, the marker's gone. So if you, if you go where you think you're supposed to go and you don't see the marker, just make sure you're on the Ghost in the Machines mission and you should be a good to go right there. I'm looking for somebody. Um, they've got a Mark Corvax. What? I'm confused. Life form. You arrived later than anticipated. That has been obtained, exchanged, utilized. New tools await you as instructed. Corvax has plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sited? What sort of hazard protection meets your need? Bro, I'm on a beautiful planet. But I'll take... Um, we'll take heat. Thanks. That's uh, B-class. Blueprint. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I thought it was going to be you. I'll take that though. Reach your base. Okay. Go to the teleporter. Got it. All right. Uh, let's see. Options. Expand staff. Your base needs an overseer. We need to place a construction terminal. Okay. So we're kind of at a crossroads. We're at a spot where, you know, my base is my my area is looking pretty crappy. Let's be honest. And uh, I need to decide what to do. I'm having a hard time, having a hard time making a decision. Having a hard time. Uh, 
All right, I don't like these, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm just not a big fan of the spikes. Let's burn these down. What if we built like a cliff platform? Oh, that could be cool. I wonder if I could do that. Hmm. All right, so let's go to the build camera. Let's see. So you can't build on the wall, but, but we can certainly figure that out some way. Bear with me. I'm going to put a... Um, this is going to be my elevator. Okay? I'm going to put a teleporter here. So I can run in here and go zip right up to the top. And then down here... Oh, what is this? Down here's a crack I don't want to fall into, apparently. And I just fell in. So, I think what I'm going to do down here is build a garage for my... Exocraft. I'm going to get this a different color, too. I just want to get a kind of a general layout done first. So let me work on that a little bit, and um, I'll bring you back, probably. Unless I do a speed build. Who knows what I'm going to do. There's no telling with Bob. I like it. All right, now. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. What do we got over here? A large wooden power door. I don't remember this being there. Has this always been there? Has that been there? And I just forgot about it? Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Guys, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys who watch all the way through. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, let me know what you think of the uh, speedy up bits on the building. Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to just cut it out and show you the end product? Uh, do you want to see kind of my train of thought as I, as I mess around with stuff? It's kind of a lot of what, I, what it is, just trying out different things. Uh, and thinking about what I want to uh, what I want to accomplish. So let me know your thoughts on the base building because I don't want to take up a whole episode on base building if nobody's interested in that. Thanks so much again for watching. Uh, if you made it to the end and you haven't subscribed yet, guys, please consider subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. We will see you next time. And remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And um, if you're going to build a base, uh, make sure you got some Mr. Peepers downstairs because they'll keep a lookout for you. <laughs> we'll see you next time.